Mm -hmm. Originally, we found Dino in front of Fire Station 221. We were coming back from a call. It was about 5.30 in the morning. We noticed that there was a puppy sitting in front of the station, right in front of the sign. He had actually had dug a hole and was laying there. Um, so when we parked the engine, I asked the guys, I said, hey man, go out and check that dog out, see what's going on. And uh, they went out and found Dino and brought him in the back. They played for a little bit, but then he started acting like he was kind of sick. And uh, so Captain Arvizo uh, took him, Dino, down to the Humane Society. And they told us, they're like, hey, if you guys want to bring him by, we can do a checkup on him to see, you know, what his health was. He was a puppy, obviously. Uh, when we saw the dog, he seemed pretty, like, not hurt, but... Um, Lethargic. Yeah. They diagnosed him with parvo. They pretty much said parvo is a death sentence. Like, there is a treatment for puppies with parvo, and they were nice enough and gave us was a couple medications, some antibiotics. They said if he lasted throughout the weekend, uh, there's a good chance that he would live. We bought the medication, brought it back here, and started giving it to him. And he was just kind of, he wasn't really active or anything. He just didn't seem very well at all. So when we had all the rainstorms and all the flooding, so it was pretty chaotic around here. So I texted the guys and asked how he was doing. and. Uh, they're like, he's not doing too good. So then I thought, what are we gonna do now? You know, because my wife said, well, what are you gonna do? And I was like, she goes, you're gonna go pick him up, aren't you? And I go, yeah. I was basically force feeding him with the big syringes, just shoving the food down his baby food down his throat, basically, and Pedialyte like every hour on the hour. I was doing that for that whole day. Do you know you wanna get better? Go eat your food, little buddy. And then the next day, I ended up going to another station. Did that whole day, every hour, when we could. If we weren't running calls or whatever, we'd feed him and give him Pedialyte. The next morning, I got up, and there, there he was. He was awake, his little perky little ears. He's all... So that was kind of cool. I was like, wow, he actually made it over the hill, I guess. Do you know what are you doing? He thinks he's at the fire station again, playing with the guys. His favorite thing to do is play with the water. Just kept taking care of him, and he got better and better. And I was like, wow, he survived. So I called the Humane Society, and they were ecstatic. So they're like, bring him whenever you can so we can see him. And so they got all attached to him. And, you know, my guys got attached to him. My other guys, I brought him back here after a couple of days when I was over there, or after leaving that Where's station. That? And then we got him a little a call, a dog tag. That's what the locals call San Bernardino is the Dino. So that's why we named him Dino. So we decided to, you know, take him out and see if we could adopt him to some good families. So we started looking around for some uh, families and we also contacted our care team because we have care team dogs. Um, care team came out, they met Dino and they decided to keep him. So with that, we, do, we actually donated Dino to Working Dogs for Wounded Warriors, because that's where we get all of our dogs from. They took over Dino's ownership and they took, took care of him for a little bit while we were going through the process, process of trying to find a handler for Dino for the care team. I put in an application uh, to possibly get him. Um, I had an interview with 17 other people. It wasn't just fire department people, it was countywide. So I interviewed, I got the position and I was awarded Dino, so since then I've had Dino with me 24-7. Um, he goes on calls with us, he rides on the fire engine, he goes home with me. We still do training with working dogs. We do it every other Wednesday, they take care of all of our training. And then we also do department training every Friday with the rest of the dogs. Uh, so like today, we'll do training today. His main job is on the care team, so if we go on a or any crew goes on a call and they just aren't handling it very well. It's kind of eating them up and they're not, it's not really setting well with them. We can go to that station and you take the dog and the dog, it, anytime the dog comes in, everybody wants to pet it and, and it brings up um, their uh, dopamine levels and you know, it kind of settles the, the situation. So that's, that's what we're here for and that's what we do. Um, anytime we go shopping, Dino's with us and everybody's asking, can I touch your dog? And I'm like, absolutely. I'm like, that's what he's for. Because you see working dogs and a lot of people, you're not supposed to touch them. But that's what Dino's for, is for people to touch him and, and play with them and stuff like that.